can bask in his glory hole. Bask in his glory hole. How about this cover, huh? You know what my favorite part about this uh, this metal cover of Keith Lee's theme? The best part about this video and this Keith Lee uh, cover that these guys did is this: they spend all this time to film this, and this guy's like, "Yo, you know, just leave the dishes. You know, leave the leave the dishes in the background. I don't care. You know." And listen, far be it from me, who I have done several videos in the past where there are dishes around me and, you know, just trash. Like, trust me, I have been a slob. But, you know, the production of this is pretty good and everything sounds great. But then you look behind him and you're like, man, there's like nine plates in this room. Like this, this guy's room smells bad, probably, you know, like that don't look good. That looks bad. That looks like they're like, just, you know, just leave the plates. I don't know. You just like, we're like, eh, you know, we're going to do all this work to get the camera and do all these other things and whatever else. And, but you know, just leave the plates, you know, just leave the plates there. Who cares? You know, just whatever. They're fine. I mean, I have, you know, pink hair is, you know, the pink hair is wearing out, wearing off the dye. You know, I mean, we could try to lighten this up a little bit, but I like it though. I like the, you know, good job. And I think it sounds pretty good. Really good. But, uh, you know, the plates, come on, bro. You couldn't pick up the, the macaroni and cheese plates, you know, behind you before you shot the music video thing. Like this is how this is how so normal this is to this guy's life. He's just like, yeah. Like let's count the dishes. 1 2 3 4 5 6 dishes, couple of Pepsi cans, you know? But then again, when you you know, have a dresser draw that says you know, stuffing, what does that say? And thing, I don't even know what that says. And by the way, something weird about this guy too. Another thing about this guy, you went to all this trouble. Like, first of all, I just want to say, you know, you won't throw the dishes out. But why does the room have this theme, this matching theme of orange? Has anybody noticed this? What is up with this guy? Orange thing right there. His hair, you know, his hair's pink. It's a little different. He's got orange things up here. What's what's that about? Orange, orange, orange. And then around the room, orange, orange, orange spray paint all around the room on top over like posters and things like that where he writes, you know what I mean? So this is all coordinated. This room is coordinated. You know, the shirt, everything's got this orange, hue, like, accent like this guy doesn't know that you know a lot of people look at this guy like oh some you know teenage slob with his guitar and whatever no nah, bro this guy's a future like designer or something this guy literally has like accent colors in his room and doesn't even know it i don't think unless this is some kind of effect i don't know about look at this this right here this is all orange the pillow there why is the pillow match the pillow matches too the pillow matches that thing there matches this thing over here matches these things hanging up here match all the poster pictures match these painted spray painted things that that matches this bear right here that looks like it's hung that matches the shirt like what's going on here like you went to a concerted effort to accent this room but you were like Fuck it. Plates. Leave the plates behind. Leave the plates. They'll, they're fine. Like, Y'all, just leave the plates behind, man. You know, it'll be all right. Just just go ahead and leave the plates there. You know, leave the plates. Who cares? Leave the plates, everybody. I don't care. I'll leave the plates right there Yeah, I don't care I'll leave the plates right there I will leave the plates Who gives a fuck? Go ahead and 
ain't picking them up. Oh, leave the plates, leave the plates, leave the stains, leave the plates. Oh, I don't know, but for the for the people that don't know what I'm talking about, yeah, it's just I don't know, man. Great, good job on the production of covering Keith Lee's entrance theme, but you know. All right, I fi he's gay. That's what it is. Okay, I figured it out. I was giving him credit. You know, like he designs his room, unbelievable the accents and everything. But okay, now I know he's now he's gay. All right, that's what it is. I didn't know that. Now, I think rainbows would be up everywhere. You know what I mean, but that last move there with that little that flamboyant thing that he just did there. I mean, that tells me right there. Like, okay, yep, your your butt pumping. That's okay. It's just it explains everything now. Because I was like, why is he so good? Why is he so disgusting with the plates, but yet at the same time can color coordinate and accent his bedroom? I don't understand this, but this this explains it right here. Right here, right there. there, there. Oh, yes, sister, do it. It's Pride Month, everybody. Go ahead and bask in his glory. Go ahead and bask in his glory. Bask in my glory. You see that, guys? Let me just, this is actually an outtake of the song. Hold on, ready? Watch this. Bask in his glory. Halt. Come on. You wanna, you wanna bask in my ass. Come on. You wanna bask in my ass. Bask in his ass, bask, bask in his ass, everybody. <laughs> yeah, bask in his ass. That's what it is. All right. That's cool, man. Hey, listen, I'm pumped up that we featured that. I mean, it's Pride Month. You know, we want to support that shit, you know. We want to support all those things. Um, Yeah, man, the lightning get it done tonight once again. The lightning get it done once again, man. Unbelievable that the lightning do it again. I mean... Are people just, and you thought you were mad at like all the other groups, you know what I mean? Like, oh, they're always in the playoffs. Um, I don't know if we're going to do what we're doing tonight. You know, I got to be honest, I had a terrible day today. I got really angry because I was, you know, if I don't get home to start this show at 10 o'clock, this show doesn't go right. You know what I mean? You can't start beat the clock at midnight. You know what I mean? So... Um, I got to be honest, I, I I really should not be on the air right now. I shouldn't have been on the, I shouldn't be on the air. I should not have come on the air probably. Um, But I'm here for a little bit. And, um, you know, the Rangers are done. So the New York team is out. So that's kind of funny. That's always funny when, you know, a New York team gets eliminated. You know how I feel about that place um i just uh yeah i won't be on long i don't think uh i think i'm gonna do a show tomorrow night to make up for it which sucks because you know sunday is usually the day that i like to uh do nothing like i like i have one day where i try not to do much and i still usually do something on sunday and then i still do something with my other stuff it's um, so I tried to have fun to open the show, but I, it's hard not to go right back into this, this angry, uh, um, angriness that I have about, you know, when I was told, when I took this certain job I took, I was told I'd be out by eight o'clock or eight, nine o'clock. And it's now that I got home at midnight tonight. So we ruined beat the clock because of that tonight. So I'm going to do it again tomorrow night. At least no Ranger fans got knocked out here in Tampa. That's true. Well, you guys couldn't knock anybody out. So don't let's not pretend that, you know, 
you didn't do it because you're nice. You know what I mean? You did it because you guys are pussies down there. Come on. I mean, like, seriously, bro, I've been to Florida. The people in Florida wouldn't last five seconds with Northeast people. You guys are pussies. Just telling you. Okay? Love you, but come on. No, of course, no New Yorkers get knocked out. New York. Imagine if Tampa Bay Lightning fans tried to punch out a Rangers fan. Like, they just get, they, like, it wouldn't happen. You know what I mean? This is not going to happen. <laughs> you know? Like, that's why it's it's not. you. I bet you the Ranger fan could run around the fucking building saying, like, suck Tampa gay. Suck my dick. Fucking Rangers, you fucking lose at Tampa Bay. I hope you fucking get hit by a hurricane next year and your fucking mother dies and suffers in a fucking soccer accident. I bet you, like, they, you could do, they could run around with a boiling hot coffee and throw it on people and they still wouldn't be able to get beaten up. I can almost guarantee it. It's still not going to happen because the friggin' Rangers fans, New York people are different. And I don't care. You know, a lot of people from the Northeast go down there to Tampa and to Florida and to those areas of Florida. You know, so there's a lot of mix of different people out there. But I don't care, man. Once they've been down there for more than six years, they've become a fucking pussy. Like, it doesn't, it's never the same again. You know what I mean? It's never the same again. You don't know, you don't know shit until you lived up here. You know, look at New York right now, bro. You know how hard, you know, you know how hard you got to be, how crazy you got to be. You know, out there right now in New York, the way things are going, especially in the city area, like in the right spot. What the fuck did you just send me a link to? What the fuck? You dickhead. Did you really send me a link to this? You fucking asshole, weird fuck. You're a troll fuck. You cocksucking troll fuck. <laughs> fucking send me a link to that. Oh, you fucking weirdo. I almost played it on the show. That would have been weird. Um... But tomorrow, uh, yeah, tomorrow I probably, I might do it tomorrow, you know what I mean? Because it's just like, I don't know, maybe I'll do it tonight. I don't know, I just gotta get it, I just, I don't know. I, I have no, I have no idea what I'm doing. I like to get home and like think about things for a second and get everything ready and get going, you know? But I just could not get the fuck out of the, I couldn't leave, there's nothing I can do. I had to finish, I had to wait for other people to leave. Um, Really mysterious, yeah. I don't, you know what, that's going to piss me off if the Warriors win, because the Celtics have had multiple chances to make sure they stay ahead of the Lakers, man. It's all about staying ahead of the Lakers for me. We got to stay ahead of the goddamn Lakers. Um, main event fight coming up next. Glover, I think Glover is going to take a Glover to the head, bro. This is going to be a crazy... I hope it's going to be a good fight. I hope this is the... I hope this is what it should be. You know what I mean? I couldn't... You know, Whitaker got canceled earlier. Is that his second cancellation in a row? Am I wrong? Or... I don't remember. I swear to God, I haven't seen Whitaker fight now in like... I feel like in a while. I had Jack winning. He won. I had... Uh, Jake Matthews winning. I had, uh, I had, what woman did I have winning? I had the Asian lady winning. What was she, what's her name, Zhang or something like that? Like, I forget her. I had her winning. Um, but I lost the, uh, one. Well, actually, I didn't lose it. Whitaker didn't fight. I didn't know that. Why did I, why was there an option to vote on it when he's not fighting? Like, am I crazy? Oh, I had Santos. I shouldn't have picked against the, the, the Russian. Never do that. Because isn't it Shevchenko, Shevchenko, or whatever her name is? Like, never vote against the goddamn Russians at this point. I mean, their their country's kicking our country's ass. So, um, but I had Santos. That was a mistake. Definitely a mistake. So, uh, we probably should probably should probably uh, probably should have gone against Glover. I think I did. I picked against Glover. What's his What's his last name? Tishere or something like that. I forget his name. See, I don't know him that well. I've barely seen him fight. And he's had a lot of fights, and I've barely seen him fight, dude. You know why? Because he looks like Rumpelstiltskin's dick. That's why. 
Shit bum. What's up, Joe? Hope you're having a great night. Hopefully no. Jake is well. Let him know Cody says hi. Also, I got blocked by Edge on Instagram today, lol. You got blocked on Instagram? Jesus, how does that even happen? I feel like Instagram, you never get blocked. I never get It's so much more peaceful on Instagram. Have you ever noticed that, that you're a completely different person on the two of them? Like, it's like, it's like in real life, you're like a nice person. In real life, you're like, hey, how you doing, man? Yeah, cool. Like, oh, that's awesome, man. Yeah, we'll see you later. And then on Twitter, you're like, all right, you cocksucking faggot! You want to fucking die? I'll fucking kill you! I'll rape you! I'll fucking report you, dickhead! Fuck it! And then on Instagram, you're like, you're like, heart. Oh, look at that girl. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, heart. And the, or you reply like, nice looking family. Or like, you guys look great. Heart. Instagram is such a, a peaceful place. It's so much pe more peaceful. You know what I mean? Even the criticisms. It's like, you know, I don't think you should do that anymore. I feel like you should go back to what you used to do. It's like serious thought on Instagram. Like, you, you, I don't know why you put, like, serious thought into shit on Instagram. In real life, you talk like a real person in real life. Then on Instagram, you, like, give serious thought to everything. Like, ha, this is hilarious. Hey, have a good day, man. Hey, your family looks cool. Hey, heart. Hey, heart. And then you go to Twitter again. And you're like, hey, you fucking fuck out. Ah, ah, ah. It's, it's, like, weird, bro. It's weird. But that's... I don't... I... I I find myself doing it all the time. Like, I'll be on Instagram, and I'll be like, I'll be texting someone a certain thing or whatever. I'll be like, you know, man, this is way more peaceful. Like, if you're upset at Twitter, just leave Twitter and just go to Instagram. Because it's mostly just, like, a picture of me, like, like, hey, or like, or like doing something or whatever. You know, there's, like, less politics. I think that's part of it. There's, like, you know, you're not posting, like, look what he did, you know, you know you're like, it's more personal. Like, it's more like fun and personal. It's not like terrible things. You know, I don't know. So, yeah, go to, for whatever reason, Instagram. I don't know. <laughs> Be on Instagram. Shit bum. Check out DM Joe. The DMs. Get down in the DMs. James Mesner. What's up, James? We gonna get down in the DMs. What on Twitter? <laughs> oh my God! What's funnier, Leonardo DiCaprio or you? No, I'm just kidding. Look at Leo. What is this? What is Leo doing? Like, what is Leo doing? Look at you. See, James, <clears throat> what is Leo doing? James, we got to get you some socks that fit you, bro. Those socks look a little tight, bro. And you're in a wheelchair. Those socks look a little tight, man. It's time to get some looser socks. Okay? Those are too tight to the skin. See how the skin's pumping off the sock? You're choking yourself out there. Time to get a new sock, a bigger one. Tell mom bigger socks or whoever. Tell somebody to get you big socks. Just want to just, you know, this is some, these are the things I notice. I also think I notice a bit of a bulge on Leo, on Leo DiCaprio. He's got a bulge in there or is that just a roll off? I, don't know, I can't really tell. All I know is I'm horny. Um, thank, you. thank you, man. Diabetes, uh, maybe. Big boy socks. Yeah, you gotta get big. Like, get those bigger ones because they'll fit nice. You know what I mean? You don't need tight socks. You know, you're not going anywhere. You're not climbing. Get some Nike socks. Yeah, they're made by five year olds. It's perfect. Get to work. Oh, get to work, you fuckhead. Uh. Why are, you, why are you yelling at me? Why are you yelling at me? Shut up, I kill you. I know why I'm saying that. Um, you know what? I'm really upset that my my son didn't answer a, uh, a you know, I sent him a voicemail. Maybe he's asleep, but I sent him a voicemail earlier. That was funny. 
I was trying to like make fun of like a because my daughter and my son. So uh, my daughter ordered something, you know, she got a couple bucks, ordered something in the mail, Amazon, Amazon. And uh I I had to I had to replace the brick for the Xbox for my for my kids cuz the Xbox broke upstairs and the brick was like five dollars like you can buy an old xbox brick for like five bucks so i bought one of those bricks for five bucks so they're both coming together in a package and the package doesn't get here today i'm like what so i'm i'm pissed off that the package doesn't get here so i'm sitting there and <laughs> just like you know nothing to do and I'm thinking about how the package didn't get there. And I just started doing this. And I don't know what's wrong with me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, package sent here. Hello. Yes. <laughs> they lost my package. <laughs> hey, yeah, understand. So there looks like uh, someone uh, they lost your package. Uh, what kind of package uh, was it? Or, or they lost my package. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, that, you say you lost your package there. Um, what kind of package exactly uh, did we lose? Was it a brown box or was it a shipped package? No. They have lost my package. I fill out shipping label and they lost <laughs> my package. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, see, there you, we, uh, we, we might have lost your package, and I understand your concern there. Uh, so let me ask you there, uh, uh, what kind of package was it? Were you shipping next day, or shipping ground, or where was it going there? Oh! They lost me package! <laughs> yeah, I understand that, we lost your package there, but let me, let me try to help you find your package there, by having, by having you, you maybe describe the package to me. Oh! Nope! It was big package. Yeah, yes, I understand there that it's a big package, but then, <laughs> the dude, I went on, I went on with that for like eight minutes earlier today, just because, all because, I got a message that my Amazon package was lost. Like, and I'm, fucking, <laughs> like that goes on another like five minutes of me just being like. Oh, don't they lost me package? Yeah, understand that we lost your package, and we can look for your package now. It's just, I don't know what I was doing, man, but I did. <laughs> I did that for like eight minutes. Ah, uh, I'm retarded. I mean, there really is something wrong with me. We may never know what it is, but there's something wrong. Oh my god, what a horrible day! It was just a bad, bad day. Nothing went right. Oh, you'll be home at 9 o'clock. It'll be great. Oh, yeah? I'll be home at 9 o'clock? Oh, midnight. Okay. Cool. That was awesome. I, lo I love when, when you say I'm going to get home at 9 o'clock and I get home at midnight. That's fun. That's cool. That doesn't fuck up my other job at all, does it? Now, if I've been live for Beat the Clock at 10 o'clock like I wanted to be, Right, Every, you know, we probably would be rolling right now with some momentum, kicking some butt. But no, what the fuck am I looking at on Twitter? I gotta play this for you guys. I'm gonna play this for you. Let me get this open because this is fucking crazy. <laughs> oh my god <clears throat> it's all fun and games till a man is missing his package it does sound like Adam Sandler it sounded like um, I, I think it sounded like a mix of like a Boston guy a, like the stapler guy have you seen my stapler like the, have you seen my stapler like that guy mixed with like Adam Sandler's like water boy High quality, quality eight two o. Like it was like it was like. Oh, of course, yeah, we're missing your package there. We're gonna look for your package and we will figure it out where it is. Uh, let me see here. We go, of course, we go missing package. Uh, we look for your package. Um, what is what's the what's your phone number? I'm missing my package. 
of course you're missing your package there and we want to go ahead and help you find that package so if you could just give me your phone number right now we can go looking for that package right now sir i gone on missing package oh i understand that your package is uh missing there sir but uh go ahead and uh, just leave me your phone number right there and uh, we'll go ahead and look for that package for you there my number Yes, yeah, sir. If you don't leave your number, we can look for that package for you right now. We can try to find it for you and give you a call when we find that package there for you. Okay, my number is 555-42-55555. Hey, let me understand that there. So your number is 555-45-55-555. I think you got that right there. I don't know. I lost me package. I understand you lost your package there, but I'll go ahead and just repeat back that number for me again. Make sure I've got this correct, sir. I lost my package. All right, sir. Why don't we just go ahead and skip that number there? I think I got the correct number there. Maybe we'll go with that email address there. Maybe. Do you have an email address, sir? I lost my package. All right, there. Yeah, I understand you lost your package. It sounds like you don't have an email address there, sir. So I'm going to go ahead right now and just uh, write down that, uh, yeah, that your missing package and your uh, phone number there. And uh, what would be your 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 name there, sir? I could take your name down uh, and maybe a, a tracking number so I could maybe uh, locate the package for you. I'm going to fucking kill you and everybody in the fucking post office, you fucking... All right, there, sir. So you, uh, you, you were going to come down here and murder all of us. Okay, there, sir. Uh, so would, would that, would you murder us still if we found your pack? Oh, look at this. I think I found your package. You found me package? Yes, sir. I think I found it right here over here in the corner here. This is empty box over here. Is your name Jim? Yes. Oh, certainly. Okay, well, I have your package here. Can you come down and pick it up? Wait, lost my package. Oh, I understand you lost your package there, but it looks like I've I've located that package for you. If you could just go ahead and clarify that your name is, is the name on the package. Is your last name McAllister? No, my last name is Patel. No, not my packages. Not my packages. Piss on you, Rico. You piss. No, you good. I lost my packages. I understand that you lost your package there. <laughs> I don't know what we're doing here. <laughs> ah! <laughs> <laughs> Shit bomb. Thank you for the soccer review, Joe. I have Nike socks. Just wasn't wearing them that day. High quality oh. made by the best Indian slave boys. Oh, the high quality. I had quality Nike shoes. Oh man. James Mesner. James Mesner. 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 James, thank you for becoming a five dollar shit bum. Much appreciated, man. Thank you, bro. That really means a lot, dude. I had uh, about four dollars in the bank. Now I have uh, seventeen. You're the shit. I <laughs> really mysterious goes. He cheered himself up. I don't know. <laughs> they not lost me packages. I understand. We lost your package. All right, I'm not gonna do that. Again. <laughs> Oh, man. I got stuck at work tonight, man. It was so stupid. I'm trying not to be negative. You know, I'm really, I'm like, I'm really trying not to be negative. You know what got me to not be negative? What changed? Like, I was sort of like on Twitter and I was just like losing my mind at, at, at this place, like thinking, like, oh my God, my fucking. And I, and I'm going to go live tomorrow to make up for this. I wanted a day off of doing, you know, tomorrow, which is why I don't like to do Sundays, but. I am going to go live tomorrow at a earlier time 
um, because of this. But yeah, um, you know, it's it's one of those things where uh, I would I. Uh, I can't even talk right now. I'm I'm really fucked up. I should not be on the air. That's all I, I know. Um, I know that so I was upset about like how I was late, you know, and like what the fuck, you know, I was supposed to be home by nine in the clock and now it's like 11 and I'm still sitting here. I, I'm not at home. Um, and, um, I came across like a recommended video on YouTube. I don't know how this happened. But I came across like a recommended video. It was like a guy on, on you know, who was a YouTuber and he died of cancer. Like it was really bad. Like there's no wrestling tomorrow, is there? Or it's Monday there is. And he died of cancer, man. It was crazy. And it was like he took over his whole body and killed him. Like it was like he was one minute. He was a fine. He was great. And he was like, I can't believe it. I'm going to die. Like, and he's like, and then two weeks later, he's like, you know, barely can talk and he's in hospice and it's just really sad. It was very sad. I started just remembering like, yeah, man, shit can go wrong at any time. And as bad as everything is, you know, at least I'm, my worst thing was I'm stuck at work, you know? Um, but yeah, I thought the package thing was kind of funny. I was doing that all night tonight to myself like all night have you seen my package like i just couldn't Couldn't my worst thing was i'm stuck at work i mean i was excited to watch ufc and hang out with everybody but it's just like i can't believe that i just got home you know what i mean i'm shocked how late i got home i mean but you know in the longer i was there longer i was at work the more angry i got (laughs) you know that's like so unhealthy like I'm getting more angry and I'm thinking, you know, there's a highway not that far away. I just walk out on the highway. You got to It's just like, I just can't believe that, um, I got out so late. I mean, I knew, I knew that I'd probably get home a little bit late, but you know, I, you know, if I got home even at like 10 50, I, or, you know, I'd been like, all right, Started at 11.30. That's not too... That's, you know, wait, we got to do it. We're going to do what we do. But to start at fucking... To get home at like midnight-ish is like just defeating. You know? <clears throat> Jesus. Your missing package. What up, Danny MT? Oh, I understand that your package is uh, missing there, sir. But uh, go ahead and uh, just leave me your phone number right there, and uh, we'll go ahead and look for that package for you there. My number? Yes, yeah, sir. If you don't leave your number, we can look for that package for you right now. We can try to find it for you and give you a call when we find that package there for you. Okay, my number is 555 <laughs> Five 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 five. Hey, let me understand that there. So your number is five 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 uh forty five uh five uh five five uh, five five five. <laughs> <laughs> Not again. Um, but yeah. So it was just like a. I don't know, man. I don't think I've been that in. Ra- I I don't think I get. I don't usually get that mad. You know. Actually, I do. That's crazy. I I do get that mad. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I was like very upset. Um, but yeah, man, and it's, I can't believe it. I was going to relax. I was, you know what? I hate when plans change. I'm starting to find that out like about myself. Finally, at the age of 37, soon to be 38, I get when plans, when things don't go the right way or the way that I was expecting or the way that, you know, not that I'm expecting it, but the way that it's set, the way that it's supposed to go, you know, when it's like, okay, this is what, you know, it's like. God damn, man. Three hours? Warriors kicking the Celtics. It's fucking tied, Todd. What the hell are you talking about? This would not happen if Jesse Ventura worked at the post office. If Jesse Ventura worked at the post office, he would have... You know what? I bet you would have raped somebody, like a mail clerk in the back. You know what I think is you should open up my package. Have you seen my package yet, Denise? 
haven't seen your package yet. Um, why are you asking me that? Well, because the fact of the matter is everybody knows that if you once you see Jesse Ventura's package, then you never go home to your husband again. Oh, really? I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it's a thing, all right. Bend over and... Could you uh, bend over and look in the mail slot for that missing envelope? Oh, you mean this mail slot? Let me take a look right here. Oh! Oh, yeah! Oh, take that in the head. Um, um, <laughs> what are we doing right now? Um, what up, man? What up, Danny MT? How you feeling, Danny? Are you all right out there? You haven't been? Have you been arrested this week, sir? Have you been arrested this week, Danny MT? Then she got a small package. Wouldn't you love to see Luther, the biggest? Uh, would you call Luther the biggest uh, charity case that Jericho's ever taken on? Of anybody? By the way, fucking Ryback's an idiot. Ryback's a moron and thinks I'm in his chats because he's a stupid idiot. What a dumb idiot he is. Remember when Ryback used to come in my chats and we used to call him an asshole? We'd be like, get out of the chat, Ryback, you scumbag. Dude, like, Ryback is so stupid that somebody was, first of all, I'm not even home today, right? And somebody is, you know, making, they always do this. They always make fake Joe Cronin things in his chat and troll him or whatever. But he's a stupid, he's, he's literally, he's a mark. He doesn't even know that he's a mark. So obviously you can see the Joe Cronin on the right there. That's not me, obviously, right? First of all, number one, I'm banned in his chat, right? The I'm actually banned in his chat for like years, right? So obviously that's not really me. So look at this dumb fuck. Super chat. Let's go ahead and throw another shell shock. Get that mark shell, out of here. Shell shock. Bam. Another shell shock. Get that mark out of here. Bam. <clears throat> Super chat. He called me a mark. He called me a mark. I, oh, he called that guy a mark, but I think he's... But dude, there's a bunch of these. Pichar, like, Picharo got a bunch of these. There's a bunch of these. Brother, I don't hate you. I just don't care about you. And I just wish you would just go away forever. That's all. It's you not bet. me, you, you idiot. Blocked again. I think you're an idiot. He he literally thinks this fucking idiot thinks that I'm sitting there making names at like telling him like, "Oh, why do you hate me?" Like he thinks that's really me. That's how stupid Ryback is. That's not me, but he thinks it's me. Uh, uh, it's like, it's not a personal, just please leave me alone, Joe. Yeah, yeah, I'm really, it's really me, Ryback, with my three kids, my 70 jobs, my soon-to-be, like, fucking homeless, uh, lose my house homelessness. Yeah, that's me, Ryback. I'd take time out of my day to make 70 names of myself in your chat to try to get your approval, you stupid fucking idiot. Brother, I don't hate you, I just don't care about you, and I just wish you would just go away forever. That's all. Why are you talking to a troll person? You've been you've been blocked again. I think it's just crazy how obsessive some people are. It's like you know that's a troll person, obviously. Why even acknowledge it? Because this is why they're doing it, you dummy. Like they're like, ha, ah, he's getting crazy about Cronin. Like he's so ridiculous. Why wouldn't you just, you know? Let it roll, just whatever. Like, I don't know. Block the people and don't say anything. But no. Not only does he respond to them, he responds to it like like it's me. As if that's what I'm doing. I'm taking the time to, like, talk to Ryback, you know? Joe Ryback now sounds like you imitating him. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Brother, I don't hate you. I just don't care about you. And I just wish you would just go away forever. I wish you would just That's go all. away forever. You've been you've been blocked again. I think it's just crazy how obsessive 
some people are. Yeah. Like, uh, by the way, fuck babies. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, dude, he's so weird. The things he says on Twitter, like, dude, the things he says on Twitter and then says things like this. So funny. And the guy thinks that I'm in his chat. He doesn't immediately go like, oh, these are people trolling me about Joe. And I mean, like, we at least made a joke about the per the people that do the Ryback in my chat. Like, we at least made the joke, like, get out of the chat, Ryback, you scumbag. And, like, we know it's not really Ryback. And you can tell we know it's not him. And we're just joking. He literally, I think, believes that's me. Like, he actually, I think, I think he thinks that's me. I wouldn't do that to somebody. You know, especially, I feel bad for him a little bit. Because I don't think he understands what kind of trollage is happening to him, and he doesn't realize it. Like, these people are fucked, bro. They have no lives. You know? Get out of my... Uh, get out of my chat. What the fuck? You all have decided to take your hard-earned money. Oh, shit. It's Jennifer it's Muppet, baby. One of the only females left in the community. The JM Jennifer Muppet, To fund baby. my godly ass oh JCS shit jcs army donate to me oh my god 20 dollars canadian it's worth more than american now i bet acknowledge me acknowledge me <laughs> acknowledge me me Acknowledge me. I just got here equals keep on keeping on, Joe. Nobody likes plans gone awry, but life doesn't care about people's plans. Right. Trust me, I know. I have a motto. You can't make plans, only have vague notions of ideas much love. Zax. Yeah, I agree. I, I don't know why I do such, I, I do very bad with it. Well, you know, here, here's my thing, right? Like, here's my theory. The job, one of the job, the job that I'm working, right? I'm not going to get paid any more for it, no matter whether I stay later or I, I leave early or whatever the case is, right? So, and one of my, one of my biggest shows of the week now has become Beat the Clock on a Saturday night, right? It's become the biggest show that I did. Well, it's, it has been the biggest show. We've had bigger numbers for this show. Bigger donations, bigger numbers, bigger turnout, bigger everything. So, you know, it's weird. I don't know. <clears throat> Thank you, Jennifer, for the twenty dollars. Let me just put your uh put that up there. My bad. So <sighs> whew. Cry back. Thank you, uh, Jennifer. So, yeah, it was just, you know, it, it's annoying because it's like you plan stuff, stuff, and then whatever. You, like you said, you can't really make plans. You can't really plan for things. Um, And you're right. I, I've known that my whole life, too, especially with, like, my dad. You know, once my dad died when I was, like, eight years old, I was like, oh, yeah. Like, you don't know what's going to happen. Like, you know what I mean? Once, when, if you lose a parent or a kid or a family, like a close family member, especially, and when you do, because we all are, it's all happened to everybody, you know, but when you lose that person or that person dies or whatever, that's when you go, oh shit. Like, you don't know what to expect from anything. You know what I mean? You don't know. Um... I just had a, it was just a long, it was, it was a crazy time, man. I hate to, I hate to say it. 
And like I said, I, I, I shouldn't have, I thought about not coming on because it was so late and so I'm so fucked up from everything being ruined. Um, you know, Ryback giving me attention on his lives impossible for me to hate that guy. It's pretty funny. Um, Oh, I like that. You want to taste it? Jennifer Muppet Baby uh, can help you. I burnt my face again, if anybody can't tell. I got the Rudolph and the Red-Nosed Reindeer face again. Right here and then here. I burnt my face. So if I look red, there's it does look weird. You know what I mean? Look at it. trying to like look at it i burn myself i um i put some uh i put some rubbing alcohol on my face earlier <laughs> to try to like <laughs> clean my face because i was like it felt like i was getting these blackheads i felt like and they wouldn't come off my face and, I'm, and now that i'm getting older i was like let me get these let me try to get these off my face so i'm like holding it in there um and it just started, I left it on too long. And so my face starts fucking burning. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. Uh, so it starts burning and then I'm washing it off and it's burning even more. Fucking crazy. What up, Danny310? He's a troll, but yeah. Well, you know, I accept you. You know, I accept you, Danny. It's okay. We accept your trollism. Fucking Ryback. Leave my name out of your mouth, Ryback, huh? Brother, I don't hate you. I just don't care about you. And I just wish you would just go away forever. He sounds genuine there, kind of. Like, he sounds kind of like he's trying to be compassionate. Even though that's not me in his chat. That's a troll in his chat with my name, but he's stupid. And... By him doing this, it's like it brings me back because then people send it to me like Ryback thinks you're in his chat. So now we got to talk about how I'm not in Ryback's chat. You see how this works? You know what I mean? Come on, Ryback. Shit bomb. Now is the time to use the Ryback potato chip heating as a dono. That's a great point. I don't want to do it, man, because I swear to God, the guy's going to like get more angry and copyright it or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't even fucking bother with it. That was just enrage him. He's the type of guy that gets really angry at shit. You know what I mean? Like if I did a wrestling show and made fun of Ryback on it, he would call the wrestling promotion and be like, yeah, you got a guy there. Uh, just fucking, uh, uh. like if I do something to him on YouTube, he like attacks me. Like he's, he might even come after me for this video. Even though I didn't do anything. I have nothing to do with these trolls who make my name and his a chat. It's fucking dumb. It's nothing to do with me. If I tweet something about him, he comes, he gets mad. He tries to report. The it's just like the guy is, I, w I don't do that to him, you know, but he would do that. He's that type of person. And, and you know, he's that type of person because we already have the recording of him saying that he wanted, that he, he's going to get Pat Buck fired from WWE. And by the way, uh, fucking, I will get you fired. He said that. He literally saying, he goes, and I know people say to be positive, but fuck this guy. Like, that's how he feels. That's what he's like. If he doesn't like you, man, he wants to take your, he'll take anything away from you and he don't care. Imagine if I like somehow sabotaged his supplements and, and, and he could no longer sell supplements all because I went after. It's like, why would you do that to somebody? I wouldn't do that to him. I wouldn't even try to do that to him. You know? We've heard him several times talk about how he dest he'll destroy someone's life, you know, all, all because, you know, someone talked shit about him, you know, someone talked shit about him and that's it. This guy said I was unprofessional. So, uh, guess what, buddy? Uh, you're not really going to be in the WWF or, uh, WWE too much longer, uh, because I'm going to get you fired How about that. So, and, uh, I don't care cause you're a piece of shit. So you deserve it. It's like, what? 
Why would he do that? That's weird. But he does it. I'm not in your chats, bro. It's not me. You should just block him. It's like when, I mean, like, like when we see the Ryback thing in our, my chat, I go, Ryback, get out of here, Ryback. You're in my fucking chat, Ryback. It's so like, that's the joke. But, like, he really believes it. That's the funny thing. Finish it. What up, sir, from the six? Great coverage. I didn't get to see. My whole night got screwed up, man. I was supposed to watch UFC with everybody. I was supposed to, uh, you know, do beat the clock tonight and hang out. I'm going to do beat the clock tomorrow night, Sunday night. So, get you know, get ready. Unless something happens, but I should be live tomorrow night for a Sunday night beat the clock. Probably starting around 8 or 9 o'clock. We'll start earlier. Um, but um, I'm just kind of babbling on right now. He needs anger management? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. I think I, I, might, I might need it. I think he knows what he's doing. Some parts of Ryback remind me of me. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Like, so I kind of, like, I get what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? I get what he's doing. What up, Agent? How you doing, man? Yeah, bro, sorry. I didn't get to watch UFC. Like, we're supposed to do a UFC stream here, and fortunately, all I know is who's won and lost so far. I know that I lost on Santos, so I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna win any money. I might have won fifty bucks, but now I'm gonna win nothing because I I I picked Santos to win, which was stupid. Never go against the Russian or whatever. Um, so that was a big mistake. He might be miserable. Maybe he definitely knows how to rattle cages. I love it. He does a little bit of that trolling that I do where it's like, like I'll be like a shithead, but then I'll kind of be like, oh, you know, but I, I feel like he's missing the, the little bit of empathetic side. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I'm not going to win it, agent. I'm going to lose all of it because goddamn Santos. We were supposed to watch the fight, man, and talk about it and hang out and all these things, but uh, it's my bad, man. I yeah I fucked up getting out of work really late like really late man I was I, I thought I'd be home at nine o'clock tonight you know what I mean we would have been ready to go and you know unless you know maybe we maybe we wouldn't have maybe beat the clock wouldn't have continued tonight maybe I would have gone off after thirty minutes but whatever Look at the Russian. He must train with the real bears. Yeah, dude, never vote against the Russians. Never pick against the Russians. They just always tear it up. That's why I made a mistake picking Santos. I don't know what I was thinking. I should have picked Valentina. I can't fucking believe that I picked against. I should have known, too. I was thinking that when I was doing it. I'm like, no, don't never pick a Santos. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. I just, I don't know. I was trying to have some diversity. That's what it was. Ooh, we had a drag drag queen story time at uh at the Capitol uh, Pride Parade. Oh, well, that looks like fun. Happy indoctrination. Can we get a big happy? So happy together. And they live scrumptiously ever after. You know what this, you know, I don't know why this reminds me of, I don't really have a problem with these things, but you know what kind of reminds me of it? Reminds me of Tommy N C with kids. Do you know what I mean? Like, do you know how when like Tommy N C when he was around children, he sort of like, it's about him, not about the kids. I don't know why, but I get that vibe about not not all of the drag queen um, readings because some of them do a great job with the kids and whatever else, 
but I some of them I get this vibe that it's like it's about them like like look like for some reason it's more about them and then of course there's the ones that are just perverted like I mean for little kids not for adults like if you want to do that stuff with adults go ahead but it's perverted for kids this isn't pervert this is fine enough but I just feel like it's like more about like look at me not really about the kids it's more about like look what I'm doing and it's like what it's supposed to be about kids they're kids very nice though Now, what, is, what are they, like, two girls or something? Is that why they're a cute couple? Or are they, like, what are they, two girls? I don't, I don't, I don't really read, I don't really read books to my kids and then go, aren't they a cute couple either? I never do that. I never go, like, look at the wife and the husband. Aren't they a cute couple? I don't do that. You know why? Because that's weird. Like, my, my kids, my kids could be, my kids could be gay. My kids could be bi. My kids could be straight. I, I don't know. But I don't sit there going like, you see this, this the, the man and the woman couple? Isn't it so cute? They're supposed to be together. You know, it's like, uh, what? I don't know. But that's that's not that bad compared to some of the things that I've seen recently. That's, that seems... But it seems like they're, they they want attention. You know what I mean? like It's like when Tommy is around... When Tommy back in the day used to be a guy on my show... Um. And he would uh, sort of like get annoyed by kids. And it was funny because someone recently sent me a video of Tommy and there were kids involved um, on the stream. And of course, you know, Tommy is a very autistic, gigantic, uh, overweight slob person. And um, the kids were getting in the shot, as you can see. And he becomes very annoyed by this as he always does when kids are in the way or whatever, you can see his face. And then he says to his friend, he goes, really, huh? really Hamza? And what he's talking about is, really, dude? Like, you can't get your kid out of here? And he actually is angry because he's not the star of everything. But it's like usually with kids, you, you know, you go, you like, kids might be being rude or whatever, but you like, they're little kids so you like you give them their minute or you you know you go that's funny she's sticking her face in front of the camera you know so you're like hey sally sally move out of the camera for a second i'm gonna take this i'm gonna do one last shot okay say bye-bye all right now let me get in there do you like the camera you know or you have fun with them you have a good time but no he's like no get out of my shot you little no one's more important than me Really, Hamza? Really, Hamza? Your kid's really in the fucking way? Really, Hamza? Look at that look, dude. Look at that fucking look on his face. He's disgusted. And I feel like some of the, the library people are like that, too. They're like, I don't care about any fuckers. I, this, is my, this is my moment. This is my thing I do. Look at this. Oh, oh. Look at that look. Oh, my God, bro. That is the look of, like, I want dead kids. This is the look of I want dead children. Like, I want, I see dead people. Look at this. The Mad Hatter. The Mad Hatter himself right there. Look at that look. This little ball of joy down there. And that's the look he has on his face. He's not happy for his friend's kids. Nothing. He's just like, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. I want to eat some more. Fuck you. Where's the food court? Fuck you. I want to eat a bunch of donuts. Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. I'm fat as fuck. <laughs> That's what he does. Disgusting. But, you know, that kind of, you know, reminds me of, like I said, like the, the, the reading, you know, everybody see, <laughs> it's not really about the kids. It's about like, look at my, look at the thing. I'm on stage. You know what I mean? Cause they can't, there's nowhere else to go for on you know, to do anything. You know, <laughs> I don't know, man, but that's, 
He's going to kill a kid. He's going to take out a kid, bro. <laughs> Thank you, Gerald Armstrong, by the way, for the five bucks. Nanny looks, he looks very angry. It's an angry young man, you know, right there. Very upset. Did I lose? Uh, we're gonna find out if I have if I have fifty bucks or not. Let's see. Look at his look, how he looks. Look at his look. You looking like a crook? Look at his look. How about, dude? Are you mad about Tampa Bay, huh? Tampa Bay going to the Stanley Cup again. Cup bluey. All right, who's DMing me? I seen this. What the fuck? <laughs> Byron, what the hell is this? Gay BCs. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> 50 cents off. <laughs> uh, gay BCs. Ah, oh, they're kids, bro. They won't even care about any of it. You know what I mean? What a fucking fight this is, dude. This is the fight that we were looking for, by the way. This is the fight. All goddamn night. That we've been looking for. Kaboom. Kaboom, kaboom. It's a fucking Manson song. Fucking Big Joe. What up, Solomon? Thanks for the profile pic, Joe. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> where where I missed it. I can't find it now. I'm I'm mad about Bruce Cassidy and Misty. I'm really pissed off about Bruce Cassidy not being fired. I mean being fired. I did cover it, I covered it days ago. I said Don Sweeney did it to fucking get out of shit. You know, the guy fucking... What a fucking... <laughs> ridiculous. Nobody wants this guy fired. Nobody wants him fired. You know what I mean? Jennifer with the top dono of the night. Here, I'm going to put her up top. And guys, I, I hope you guys all join me tomorrow night. I know that I said that last night about tonight, but I have no work tomorrow whatsoever. So I may be live multiple, twice tomorrow maybe. Tomorrow night for for uh, Beat the Clock. So I do hope everybody jumps on tomorrow night for that. But yeah, Jennifer, uh, thank you for the top. Uh, but yeah, we talked about it a couple days ago, and it, it's just... Um, I'm shocked. I don't think any... I think most Bruins fans are angry. I don't think they understand why this guy got let go. Bruce Cassidy's the coach of the Boston Bruins. A lot of people don't don't care. Agent, you don't work either. I figured you didn't work. I don't work Sundays at all. Well, I take that back. Sometimes I run... I do sales leads and things like that if I want to. Look at that. Up a beep, my no. Look at that. Oh, man. It's over. He tapped. Holy shit. He tapped. Oh, my God. I was right, too. Oh, man. If I had just picked Santos, I would have won 50 bucks. I told you, never fucking. Oh, my God. Never go against a Russian. Oh my God! I t oh, wow! 
Live from the Singapore Indoor Stadium, it's UFC 275. The light heavyweight championship is on the line. And Tushera taps out. <laughs> wow. The belt changes hands. The light heavyweight championship, which, by the way, doesn't feel like it's the light heavyweight, but it is, is changing hands. And I was right about that fight. I was wrong about Santos, though, so I don't win any money. Fuck me. Damn. Yeah, that one guy. What's up, man? I, I got home from work late, man. I was hoping to be home at nine tonight or ten, nine or ten, and I didn't get he I didn't get here till about midnight, man. So awful, bad. Just I had a horrible day, man. So you know, tomorrow night I'm gonna do beat the clock tomorrow night. Sunday night beat the clock. That's why. What up, Chris Benoit? How you doing, man? Seen any good kids and families lately? Uh, Brian Porter says, Joe, have you seen the new show Rich and Shameless on TNT? Just watched a story earlier tonight of the guy from Girls Gone Wild. Yeah. I heard he got like in all kinds of shit and it was, well, he went to hell basically. Don't you miss, I miss those days. You know, what's funny. I know we always talk about this, but what's always amazing to me, what's amazing to me all the time is that Every era, every like sort of timeline or generation, you know, has that feeling to you in your in your brain, in your soul, and in your body. And you kind of look at back on it nostalgically in a, in a very interesting way. And um, you know, when you're living in the present time, you don't have that nostalgia yet, so you don't feel it doesn't feel fun or good or anything really. But like later on, all the good times from that moment from that those time periods they kind of like the bad times you kind of forget about but the good times you remember so then when you look back on those times you have this nostalgia of good i don't know that's how i work i don't know why so it's like the years the years of like 2003 to like 2000 and i don't know I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like the year 2000 to the year 2006, I have a certain feeling or maybe 2000, even to 2009, like 2000 to 2009, like there was just this feeling like the, uh, he deserves a rematch. Yeah. I mean, probably he did tap out though. I don't know. I didn't see it all. You know what I mean? The whole fight because of how jacked up I've been here. But, you know, like when the DVR, like I don't use a DVR anymore, really. You know, I just remember like the old shitty Comcast cable box and the fucking, you know, the DVR and the, you know, original Xbox and Xbox 360 and, you know, all that shit back then. Had a lot of Halo 2. Watched a lot of Star Trek Enterprise. Jake Paul fighting in August, just confirmed on Instagram. Well, who's he fighting? Jake Paul always fights at some point, right? But it's like stupid. But who's he fighting? Pretty sure Yuri tapped out like six times. Really? Are you serious? If they find that on the on the film, well, there's no film anymore, but you know, if they find that on the video, then there's got to be a, re a rematch. It was a great fight, man. That was one of the best fights. That was great. Good fight. You know what I mean? That was a good shit. That was good. But then again, you know what? I, I hadn't really seen the other fights tonight anyway that much. I've only been looking at the scores and the stats. Um, so I don't even know. Like burning CDs. That's a great point, Jeffro. The like burning CDs. You know, one of the first times I burned a CD, I I could not. I had so much fun. It was like 1997. Might have been 97. I was like, I was I was making um. Like a C, and the reason why it was exciting, I'll explain this is when you ha when you had a tape. 
you know, you could record onto a tape. Oh, shit. Yo, Star Fox, thanks for subbing. What's up? We've been a little bit vague tonight all over the place about non-UFC and all these other things, but my bad on that. I got home really late from work, and this show did not go the way it was supposed to go for me. So I'm sorry about that, but great fight. Great, great fight. That fight... I mean, luckily, hey, one of the best fights of the night, it happened in the main event. Makes sense. But yeah, um, you know, the idea of being able to like make a skit and then make another thing and then make a weird, you know, whatever and put it on a CD in 1997. I had such a blast like burning a CD and then writing all the skit names on the back of the CD. Like, you know, guy gets his balls, you know, torch, you know, it was I like call it something like ball torture. Be like, all right, we're the FBI and we're just going to ask you a few questions. And then, like, I would throw something at the ground on the microphone and make it make a loud smashing noise. And then the guy would be like, ah, ah, you know, and then I'd be like, you know, he'd be like, I thought you said you were going to ask me some questions. Why did you just throw that at my balls? And they're like, because we don't care. Like, oh, like, I'm not going to answer any questions, you know, like uh, just stupid skits like that. But anyway, like I thought it was amazing. I could put all this stuff on a CD, you know what I mean? And then burn it and then copy them. And then I started copying them, you know, and then I'd bring them to school. I'd bring these CDs to school with like eight skits on them burned and like just give them out to people. And I would have, I would have people that would, and I remember thinking, like, after I gave them out, I was kind of, like, embarrassed. I was like, what am I doing? Why did I just do that? And um, on one of them, I remember there was a kid that, that I've told this story kind of a long time ago, but there was a friend of my, there was a guy that I was friends with, I, I thought was my friend. He was, like, literally, we were, like, best friends. But he started sit, talking shit about me behind my back. And finally, I, I got, like, sick of it, and I said something. Then he, like, it's almost like how, it's like this still goes on in my life to this day, I feel like. But um, anyway, what happened was he was telling this girl behind my back that she shouldn't be with me. And she's like, why? And then he was like, because you won't treat you right type of thing. And, I, and then she told me. She goes, why is he coming to me and telling me? And I'm like, what? He's coming to you and telling you that? Why would he do that? And then she said that he said I would cheat on her. And I never cheated on her ever. Or cheated on anybody around him, or nor did I tell him that, nor did he that ever happen. So, like, why would you say that? So he was just a shithead. So anyway, on, on one of these one of these times I made like a song about him or something. And I remember year like years later, somebody played it at a party he was at, like, and I mean ten years later. And he like apparently he got furious at this party. I heard Top Gun Maverick was good. I did hear it was good. Um, so I but I'm vindictive that like I'm I made this song about him. But anyway, I put it on one of those CD things. But you know, people would come up to me in school, you know, for you know two year, even two years later, and if I did something where like I don't even remember, I can't think of a skit or something I did. But you know, I did something goofy where it was like ah my balls you know and then like people would like even a year later would be like be like hey cronin ah my balls <laughs> dude you remember that thing you made ah my balls i'm fucking where is i like i lost that or like whatever and so that was always that was really cool man that like years later like i mean like it'd be like seven years later i'd be like at a park like and people playing pickup basketball or something and i'd be like oh you want to you know we need another guy and I'd play, and then they'd be like, dude, you remember that fucking thing you made, you know, like back in fucking high school or whatever? And you were like, ah, my ball. You know, like people remember that shit. So I was like, but at the time after I gave out these CDs and these things, whatever I was doing, I was always like, this is stupid. What am I doing? People are going to think I'm a retard. Why am I doing this? But people actually, you know, people actually liked it. And people thought it was funny. So I guess it worked, but that's, think about that. That was before, you know, and then the internet around 2000, around that same time, actually, really, to be honest, around that same time, you could make a website on GeoCities 
And then you could upload little audio files or video files on the website. They weren't very good usually, but you could upload them. Usually like a cup, you know, you could upload a few minutes of audio usually. So you could make a whole, you know, you could put that up on your own website if you wanted to and tell people at school like, hey, go to geocities.com slash, you know, cock one. If you want to hear my next uh, like skit thing. I didn't finish it, Frost. Fuck, did I? I'm all over the place. I got ADD like you wouldn't believe. Told my brother straight up that he needs to leave that girl. She's cheating on you, man. Really? Why do, Why does sometimes guys don't believe that? You tell them and like they just, they think like you're trying to steal her. They're like, no, you just want to steal her. They're like, no, she sat on me too. I'm telling you. Thank you, Jennifer. You are the top donation, Jennifer. Tomorrow night is Beat the Clock, Sunday night special. Should I jump over to Garguts? I forget who Refresh is again. Is that Creeper? Oh, fuck. I got you muted. Hang on. Try it now. Yeah. Oh, what up? What's going on, brother? Well, Garguts, you sound like shit, bro. Are you in the woods again or something? Oh, he's retarded. No, his mic is off. Really? Oh, it oh is. yeah, it's just no. But you know, I just finished watching uh, UFC right now, dude. That <laughs> last fight was great. I missed everything else, unfortunately. But no, I I missed the early prelims and the preliminaries. But I was only able to see the fight between Joanna and Wei Li, and and now and then the rest. I heard that no, I, I, that was okay, right? I heard that was all right. No, yeah, it was a good fight, honestly. I'm surprised of that back fist because that came out of nowhere and it knocked her out. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It wasn't me fucking sound like that. I was on mute. What the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what the... No, it was you, but it wasn't you, it, it, if that makes any sense. Or it was like a glitch that was saying it was you, but you were on mute. Yeah, I don't get it. It's weird. I don't know Anyways, what it was. Yeah, dude, yeah, that Chong Lee... Fucking Chong uh, Wiley. Oh my god. Wiley. <laughs> Wiley. 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 She, she fucking did like a, this this kick that almost like landed. And then I don't know. She did the, like the latest, latest thing in the world, like the latest backhand fist spin. And man, she Damn, took that girl back. down. Dude, she was fucking crazy. I've been following no, that I mean, chick for a minute. I wish I saw that. I'm so mad because tonight was. Well, put it put it to you this way: this this didn't look that great to me on paper, but I because I'm not as familiar with everybody. But it, that, I think the reason why is because I'm sorry to interrupt. No, but this was better than last UFC, is what I was gonna say. I feel like yeah, because because uh, I'll tell you what, Glover and old and Yudi, he's not yeah. He, well, hey, he's old, but he's still good. He can still mm -hmm. fucking go. He's gonna go again, but. Their names aren't as popular as, let's say, you know, as McGregor or Usman, Tony Ferguson, those guys, right? Damn, we just saw the back fist again. God, oh, yeah. clean back fist, clean. Brutal. And the coach, and fucking, she just Ric Flair, fucking Ric Flair dropped. Like she walked a little bit and walked and fell down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I haven't oh, seen God. it. Oh, my God. I can't wait to see that because I haven't yet. Oh, shit. Yeah, that was a great. There, there was some. I, I, I didn't see all of it, though. Cause she, what? She retired, too? Oh, yeah. She retired. She She's done. Damn. I think because all the matches she had prior, like the one against Thug Rose, the first Whaley match, she lost those matches. And I think all that just included. Plus, she did it for 20 years plus with their MMA record and whatnot. She's still done, got, man. She's, she's still got fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, but she, <laughs> she she's done, you know. Right. And she had a very good career, and honestly, she, she's going to be a future Hall of Famer soon. She Damn. will. Santos now, Santos looks like she's a deer in the headlights in that picture. She she looks what she looked like in the fight. Yeah, but no, but honestly, she's beautiful. I have to say that Santos is beautiful, bro. Hmm. Yo, I was saying earlier, so th that was a great fight, but don't you feel like a real, na real naked chokehold is like a a fruit roll-up 
in wrestling in UFC? She looks like a boy, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. Because dude, no, she looks like a not, boy. No, she not. looks good, man. I'm just messing with him. I want to throw the JB response out there. <laughs> Bro, she looks no, like, but, a, okay, she looks like really a bowl of turkey. Hurts. She looks like a bowl of turkey. What are you looking at? I feel like a boy. She looks like a boy. JB Sports Radio. She looks like a boy. Ew. But when it comes to the Santos versus Valentino (laughs) fight, I honestly believe that she had many opportunities to just submit her. You know, and she was going for the back so many times. She could have taken it all clean off. She didn't. She had the opportunity to. Especially in the second in the second round, yeah, and the first round, but after the third, because I think in the third round that's when her eye got busted open, or no, yeah, yeah, she got busted or it was a big bruise or something, and that, I think that really, you know, go you know what, the- dude, go figure. I think I paid for two seventy four, or maybe I didn't, but no, you know, I know what it was. You know, we watched two seventy four from beginning to end, and like. Yeah. It wasn't that great, but tonight was awesome. I and it was like I missed all of it. Fuck my life. I I just feel bad. Yeah, I feel bad because I missed the prelims. You know, prelims are always amazing. Yeah, because they add a little bit of something usually, and they're usually good. And I watch some of them, not all of them. Uh, yeah, I I I watch them. I watch the the other fights, like the fight nights on other weekends. But that's just me. I was just fucking. I was just busy doing shit, but yeah, I I thought the last three fights, four fights, were really good. Mm. I'm looking. What's the second fight of the the main card? Uh, like I said, I don't know these names, so I'd have to check. Yeah, let me check too. I'm looking right now for the. Uh, oh, I'm looking for the. Apparently, I'm looking for the gay pride parade. Let's see. Oh, dude, Robert Whitaker's fight was canceled. I remember. Yeah, I said that earlier. I was like, what the hell, dude? That's another one. I know. Dude, he was going to have a match with Martin Vittori. That was going to be a good one. And he got canceled. What a what a nerd. And he was oh. in the crowd. Who's going to tell? Is someone going to tell the people holding the Ukraine and rainbow flags that, that they don't like the gays in Ukraine? Do they not know this? I mean, you can. You just did. I mean, what are they doing? They're all marching together like, look at the flag. Do you realize those things don't go together, right? Okay. Really? These people are retarded. Because they just want to empower and whatnot, you know. Yeah, they're going to say, you don't like us, but we like you, but we don't like each other. Well, well, that I'd take that if they said that. If they were like, well, but we love everybody, so we want everybody to love each other, even though they don't. The new flower power hippies that's okay if they're like that that's what they're saying fine but i i'm saying i think they don't even know like do you realize like <laughs> like they don't like the the you're holding up a flag that contradicts the other flag you're holding up but no but and my other point too is that like they normally don't like they hate the right wing people that because they think they hate all the gays but then they're holding a flag of people that do not like the gay <laughs> like what what are you doing Does make any sense? I think what, what they care about is struggles and like affairs between well not between but more like like something's going wrong let's go support them you know yeah but That's, this makes no sense Let's, i know it contradicts itself but you know no you look good man you look good look you got more in you then i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep going i don't know do I'm I look keep wow look he looks fucking cracked up bro you yeah. oh, got good, him in man. the nose, brother. He's like, man, I'll tell you what. When I started this fight, I could see. Now huh. I can't see anything. <laughs> like, I don't know. I mean, bro, dude, this fucking fight was back and forth. Like, yeah. On the ground, in you know, on their dude, feet. The Yuri greatest was fucking, punches. The greatest thing was to him fucking grab, like, the, 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 the counters that they would do. It'd be the weirdest. Kid. There was this one where he had him in an old school choke lock, you know, with the arm going through, mm. and and he grabbed his arm and bent it back and flipped over it so he can get out of it and choke him out and like get him in a chokehold too. I was tripping out. Was great. Yeah, that's weird. just the, the the beauty of Brazilian jiu jitsu, man. It's so beautiful. That's why, dude. When I like that shit right there is amazing, bro. 
no, no, uh, uh, the Brazilian got him in there in the choke, and then he countered it. The, the yeah, I know that, but it. yeah, but like the, 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 the sport, like the martial art of jiu jitsu, that's what I'm talking about. Glover's Brazilian. I forgot the other name, Pachka. Yuri. Pachka. Yuri. I'm worried about. Jerry. I'm still worried about uh, Justin Bieber's eyes. No, it's because good. somebody came on him. So, yeah. oh, oh, sure, probably his mom. Um, Selena, Selena Gomez squirted on his eyes. He's like, oh shit! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Holy shit, oh. man! He got oh, sure. oh, angel of dust. dust. You want some angel dust, man? I fuck your face up. Some Angela dust. I'm still looking for the clips. Usually the, on Twitter, there's enough, you know, there's highlights for me to like quickly look at, but they're fucking not. Well, you know what? Hashtag UFC. Why don't I do that? Yeah, I, 276 is going to be a good one, too. You got, uh, what's his name? Stylebender, that guy against uh, some dude. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. Here's the back fist. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Dude. The back fist. Wow, I finally saw it. Did you see how she like kind of tries to walk forward and just Wow. Falls? Yeah, it was weird. It was like she took a dive. But it wasn't. She just got hit and like was still moving, but then just oh my god, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah! Dude I, oh! <laughs> Dude, I wish I could show this so bad and do the fucking voices I want to do, but I can't do that because if I show that, they'll take out me, my whole thing. Yeah. No. Oh my god, dude! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! 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 <laughs> yeah! Wow, bro, dude! dude. Oh! <laughs> like fucking. Did you see like it's a slow? Like she she gathers her her balance and then just goes for it. Oh my god, so bro! Did she hit her in the ear? Is that why? Oh yeah. She hit her in the back of the head, the back of the, oh, the man. ear too, like, like the, the jaw back area, head. the ear connecting to the jaw, that part. Yeah, the that's back. that's fucking crazy. Liv Morgan looks good in leather. Alex Riley hot. Liv Morgan looks good in leather. Yeah, she does, but she's gonna get she's gonna be a big fat piggy soon. So don't get too used to looking good. You know, she'll be a mom soon. I can't fucking believe that knockout, dude. That's crazy. I heard about it. That, uh, the, I guess the one uh, in New Japan Wrestling Dominion's tonight, or it's right now. What the fuck? What? Oh Is yeah, yeah. New For Japan, yeah, Dominion. Not Forbidden Door though. It's the New Japan fight. Yeah. Oh, it's the New Japan, not Forbidden. Oh, okay. Right? I mean, unless I'm wrong, I don't think it. That's not. I don't know. It's it's got Okada versus Jay White. So no, yeah, that's that's that's, be, that's, that's Dominion. Gonna determine, okay, that, that's yeah, gonna that's determine. Dominion. Yeah, that's fine. That's Dominion. Yeah. Man, that's that was that was a good night, man. That was that was a good night. Oh man, I'm getting. Yeah, it was a look. lot better than last fight. Ooh, especially it's, the women up you, their game compared to. You gotta watch. You yeah. gotta watch the fucking the, their grappling fucking sessions, dude. It's fucking sick. Yeah, they go back and forth, bro. Mm -hmm. And dude, Yuri was eating those punches like if they were nothing. Really? And uh, Glover was eating all those body punches too. Yeah. Like, shit, I would have been gas. Well, look at his face and everything. He got hit everywhere. Yeah, dude, he got busted open in the nose. And then Yuri had a b big cut above his eyebrow. Was the nose the, the knee? Face. Was the nose the knee? Because I thought he got... I yeah, it was the knee when he went for a, a flying uh, high kick, a knee <laughs> kick or a, a flying knee. It got him in the nose directly. Oh, my God, bro. I saw started that. started leaking blood. Dude. Yeah, that shit was crazy. That guy's huge, too, like that he's facing Yuri or whatever. That guy's mm -hmm. huge. Yeah, dude. It, it, well, he's like lengthy. It's like his arms were like fucking yeah. stretching as fuck. He's got some crazy. But he views. was always he would always be like down low. So we would go down low. He'd be like trying to punch upwards so he can be ready for that uh that left knee. Yeah. So you can hit him in the face, and that's how he got him, dude. Got him a lot with that. But I don't understand how they fucking didn't break their jaws and shit. Just durability. 
you don't know if they didn't hairline fracture something. I, I mean, he said he choked him out and he broke his hand. Oh, he Jesus. Did. It was the only way he was going to do it. He's yeah, like, the, yeah, I'm pretty sure I fucked up my hand. I can't feel it. Like, he's like, it's fucked up right now. That's a great point, though. The women really, uh, they, they were kind of fun. They were exciting tonight, the women. Yeah, a lot Logan better than... Paul will beat oh. Roman Reigns' shoot fight. Logan Paul will beat Roman Reigns' shoot fight. No. <clears throat> well, actually... I could see that. Yeah, in a shoot fight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe. Because uh, Logan Paul is the wrestling background plus the boxing, too. Imagine how like, bad uh, that would be for Roman to get knocked out by Logan Paul or Roman, Jake Paul. Has Roman wrestled recently? No, no, he's not even going to be at the next pay-per-view. He's like taking all kinds of time off and then you got cody who can't be wrestling for like eight months or something wow so who's the, it's austin theory no, they're bringing <laughs> back John Cena. Oh, damn it. yeah cena's coming back out oh that's why because the guy's nobody you know in theory there you go but i mean just for SummerSlam, it looks like he's come back in three weeks specifically so yeah what the fuck's that all about yeah in three weeks, he will be here. Like, uh, you could have just had him come out in three weeks, and everybody would have fucking shit their bands. But I think because remember they did the same thing with some other guy, probably because you know John Cena shooting a movie. Probably there's some shit they just want to build up viewers for that day to come. Same thing with CM Punk. Well, they didn't say he was gonna come out, but they were you know building it up. They were ramping it up, and guess what happened? You know, viewers started looking. CM Punk came on. Everybody was shocked. So, you know. The Rock comes out. There you go. Mm. The Rock. Yeah. I want to see. Wish. I want to see. Uh, I want to see Zia Lee put that big pole thing inside Lacey's ass. <laughs> Zia, oh, I thought you were going to say you want to see Zia Lee's BB. Money in the bank. Or earlier today. Listen to her. Lacey Evans. A whiner. That's I will make her cry tears over sham. She's pretty good at talking. Well, apparently, she's injured from last night. Oh, really? I heard she got injured at a house show. Oh God, not again! That's I think that's the there third. You go. Is it the third time for her? They're dropping like flies. She's dropping like a. Fly. They're dropping like fry, flies in WWE. No doubt. Fries? Like fries. They need to hire me at this point. Dude, why not, right? Whoa. At this point, I'd be like, Vince is like, call that Joe guy. Call God, that guy. Give him 10 minutes Bring on a microphone. Out. Dude, you give me 10 Look. minutes on a microphone on TV, I'll fucking, we'll get the ratings up. Trust me. Just write. Care, You're pal. a writer. Look here, pal. We need you to write in the back. You know what I understand today? I, I they, they arrested like these white nationalist people like who were in a van going to the pride rally or whatever. But how come they don't arrest Antifa when they're heading towards a rally to do things? Like, the, like, did these guys do anything wrong yet? I'm not saying that I, I agree with the white nationalist people, but, like, what did they, like, they just arrested them? Like, for what? Like, being in a van together? I don't know. Oh, they don't do that with the, unless they're, like, racist people. But even that, like, what did they do? Like, because they don't arrest Antifa when they all in droves show up somewhere. So I'm trying to figure out, like, what's the difference? Well, maybe, you know, the police probably saw the car. Maybe the car was known. Hmm. Probably in that area. Maybe they're looking for those guys. Who knows? So many factors into that shit. Or it's, it's anything, really. I don't know what it is. It's so weird. I don't know what's going on. Who knows if it's fake? Ginger Mahal <laughs> moving carpet entrance was awesome. Yeah, I like uh, I like the carpet entrance. Fucking, you know, years later they'll be like, "Oh, the, the racist entrance." You know, like probably. I signed up for Diablo Four Beta, so we're gonna get a Diablo Beta soon. I'm pretty pumped up about that. I stopped playing Diablo Immortal because the auction house. I'm like, just can't do. I mean, the whatever the shop. I'm like, nope, this sucks. Yeah, I've I haven't played Diablo since the first one, man. I think it's I think that even. they all that's crazy. That's like nineteen ninety eight. Um I think mm -hmm. that I think they're all just fake. You know, I think they all just uh 
I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> I'm gonna get off the air. <laughs> get out of here. I'm so tired, man. Like I'm I was a- like, what are you talking about? They're all just fake, dude. I know what you mean, dude. I was dude, I got a shower scene around. I'm so pumped up yeah. right now, man. That was. Cool. I'm pumped as fuck. Oh, well, I'm gonna yeah, dude. fucking UFC right here, boy. I'm gonna Shit. head out. I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna see you tomorrow, man. Um, thanks for coming by only for a little bit, man. Sorry that I'm dead, but clock beat out. No, I didn't do. I, I'm gonna do the clock tomorrow. I'm gonna do it Sunday night. Oh, all right, right, right. Because right, I was right. so dead today from all the work, I couldn't get out of fucking work. Like, and it's like I'm dead now. I'm dead. Yeah, my bad. Well, but um, I'm- yeah. Go, hey, uh, creeper man, you've been great. I love you. Sound awesome too, man. Talk about growing up the right way. Like, uh, thank you. You know, fun, I appreciate bro. it. Just, you know, I'm I'm here to support you, man. Okay. You're a good guy. Thank Thanks you. Appreciate for that. And Garguts, I uh, love you, brother. And tell you know. We'll see you tomorrow night. We'll be r- really ready to go. All right, brother. All right, if you want to be here, if you if you can be here, if you want to be yeah. here, come hang out. I'm gonna do. All right, brother. All right, good night, man. Have fun. Yeah, see you tomorrow, brother. If you stream, I'll see you on your stream. All right, good night, creeper. Creeper hostage. We should probably come up with a different name unless he wants to keep that. Uh, Garguts, thank you, Garguts. Um, I can tell I'm falling asleep in my chair. Um, he's like, I got drunk for nothing. Um, yeah, man, just holy fuck am I tired. Obviously the night was, didn't go the way I thought it would with work, you know, my bad. John Cena head grew five inches from HGH use. You know, it might have, I bet. It, and then swallowing jizz as well. Gargut equals bomb. shit bomb. Chris Benoit's weight bench was on antiques road show. Oh my God. This here is a it's a weight bench. Oh, I just thought it was yeah, that's what I thought. It's a weight bench, and you know, I just from the nineties. Uh, but it's not any weight bench. You see right here, you see that little red spot. Yeah, you see the initials right there, N B. Yeah, that stands for Nancy Benoit. Oh, yeah. See, this was the weight. Um, the gym of uh, Chris Benoit. He was a famous wrestler, and then he. <laughs> I don't know, fucking, that's fucked up, dude. What up, Heist Man Defoe? What are you doing, Heist Man? Why don't you come hang out tomorrow night, Heist Man? You fuck, come be on the show tomorrow night, Heist Man. Come throw down with us tomorrow night, Sunday night, tomorrow night, which is tonight, really. Tonight, guys, I will see you tonight for Beat the Clock since I got out of work late thank you to jennifer jennifer you should come on too i saw you said you wanted to call up sometime jennifer tomorrow maybe call you know whatever you gotta call come i can't talk <laughs> you gotta come um jennifer with the top dono 20 bucks thank you so much jennifer hit that like button on your way out if you can thank you guys so much man sorry that uh i mean i wasn't even gonna go live tonight so i mean it was fun to be able to hang out and do about an hour and 45 minutes Uh, despite being dead. And tomorrow night, we will do Beat the Clock, Sunday night. Hope you guys are here for tomorrow night, Sunday night, JCS. And I'll probably have something out for you in the day, maybe. I don't know. My whole week's fucked now. I should just take Tuesday off, too. Fuck them. Yeah. Grab your pistol. Uh, UFC 275 was pretty good. I give it a 7 out of 10 tonight. Good stuff. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't really see it, so except for the main event. Oh, the white supremacist people? That's different. If they were white supremacists, we're going to riot at the park. I mean, that's different, yeah. Oh. That makes sense then if they stop that. What what year are we living in where people are like gonna riot at a park and transvestites are showing pussies to kids and dicks to kids? Everybody's waving rainbow flags. There's a bunch of white racist nationalists trying to show up to scare everybody. Like what the fuck is all of it? I think they're all like what are we doing? What is this world right now? All I know is we're all running out of money. I know that. We're all running out of out of money. See you tomorrow.